If you're in the mining or quarry business and high productivity is important, you gotta check out this bucket. I'm standing beside the AMI Exmoor mining bucket. And this thing is special for many different reasons. It's gonna give you 20% greater capacity just because it's larger, but also 30% lighter. When you couple those two features along with the operating range of your existing machines, you're getting high productivity that doesn't exist anywhere else. As long as you're not reaching out to the maximum uh, length and the maximum height, and you can work in the sweet spot by, by working on a ledge and loading trucks below, you're gonna get way more payload out of your existing machine. This bucket unlocks that potential for you. Looking at this bucket, there's a couple unique features here and I wanna to talk to you about them. The first one are the heel shrouds on the bottom. Those are bolt-on instead of weld-on. Now, from a service standpoint, this bucket you can take out of service, knock those heel shrouds off, bolt-on new ones in the matter of an hour or two, and you're back up and running. Compare that with a normal uh, bucket where you have to torch and weld-on new shrouds. The other part of it is that because they're on a curved angle, they are actually uh, avoiding a lot of impact and they have a lot more strength than what a 90 degree corner has. So that's a huge advantage right there. The other part is you can see the heel shrouds on the inside of the bucket. And again, that's avoiding overlapping extra steel on steel where other buckets would have to do that. The other part of it is the entire bucket is made out of Hardox 500 tough on the sides and most of the back. Hardox 500 tough gives you high wear properties with a, a, a thinner, lighter metal that also gives you some flexibility. So you get the high wear properties, but you also get a little bit of impact uh, tolerance there. So you can use it in high wear applications and not worry about it being too brittle or too soft. Let's take a look at the front of the bucket to look at the cutting edge and some of the shape inside. This Exmoor bucket is a 7.95 cubic yard capacity bucket and it's gonna be going on a CAT 374F excavator. There's lots of room in here and the shape of it is very different. You can see how there's an inverted keel where there's a ridge in the middle and it slopes away from the sides. Now that's actually gives you some performance from the outside, but inside it allows for a better flow of material as well. The main impact is right here and there's an extra plate that gives you that um, wear property where you're gonna get the most impact. Once it hits there, it's gonna flow into the rest of the bucket and uh, disperse. The beam above me is a curved beam. That's very different than what is traditionally used as a straight beam across. Because of that curve, it actually has uh, a, a formed channel to it, and that form allows it to disperse stress and strain from the digging uh, and the breakout very differently than what a straight bar does. So that alone allows the whole bucket to have a greater structural integrity. The same concept applies on this cutting edge base. Instead of it being flat, it's curved on both sides. And giving that form to a piece of steel just gives it that much more rigidity. Let's take a look at the back and see the inverted keel and what effects that has uh, in the wear properties. Looking at the rear of the Exmoor, you can tell that the shell and the heel of this bucket is very different than what we traditionally expect. It has an inverted keel design. And what that allows you to do is it reduces the friction and wear when you're going through that motion of loading up that bucket you're, you're essentially eliminating the contact time between your heel and the material. That's gonna prevent uh, unnecessary wear. The other part of it is 
we're adding more curve to this structure. And when we can do that, we're giving it more strength. And you can see that there's a curve on this side and on this side. The more strength we have on this material and this design allows us to make a bigger bucket, which allows more capacity. And this is one way of achieving that. Well, that was a quick walk around highlighting the features and benefits of the AMI Exmor bucket. This bucket is all about unlocking the potential of the machines that you use with greater capacity within the operating specifications of your excavators. There's a lot of factors at play in getting the right bucket to you, including application, material size, and how you load trucks. If you're interested in learning more, about this Exmoor bucket, please contact us. You can call us on our toll-free number, you can check out more information on the website, or talk to your local AMI territory manager. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing this bucket in action.